So I'm ready for my 36 hour day and I have like four flights or connecting flights that I have to take today. I'm hoping I did the math wrong and that because Asia is almost a day ahead of us here in Honolulu that maybe yeah, I, I figured my math very wrong. But 36 hours, four connecting flights. Honolulu to Shanghai, Shanghai to Bangkok, Bangkok to Kunming, Kunming to um, Kathmandu. It's gonna be brutal. It's probably the, the craziest connecting schedule I've had. I'm thinking that I'm gonna be taking a lot of Chinese Airlines uh, flights in order to get to Nepal and back. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of the foods that I'm getting. So here's some foods of China Eastern Airlines. A choice between pork rice and fish noodles. I decided to go with the fish noodles because that was the closest thing I felt like I might be able to eat. Kind of looks like a quinoa. But we have some fruit. Here are the fish noodles. You've got some bok choy, um, carrots, and it's kind of like some thin linguine noodles. Uh, I can't tell if I like it or not. The sauce is a little salty. It's like a bean flavored sauce. Part of me that likes it, the other part is just like, mm. hey. The fish, I just feel like, is a little overcooked. The taste of the noodles is pretty interesting. It's kind of got a little doughy taste, and it's spongy also. Um, I still wish that there were a little bit more gravy on this, or a little bit more sauce on it, a little more salt, and I wish this weren't so overcooked. But then again, just take a look at that bok choy. Green onions, uh, raisins, and I don't know if this is like um, peanut, peanuts or almonds. I like the fruit option and the, the quinoa option. Those are the two ones that rock. And I like bok choy even though it's overcooked also. So if you like cantaloupes and melons, it must be like the cheapest fruits for airlines because they always eat a lot of them and they're not really my favorite fruit. If this were the only thing that I could eat, I'd have to think really hard about it. That's how much I don't like them. I don't think I'll eat those. Noodle salad. Wow, that looks really good. Some kind of tuna salad. It's chocolate mousse cake, I think. Let's start with the dessert first. Very creamy. You see it. Dessert is actually really good. It takes a couple of um, swipes to get it to get my fork clean again. That's how the thing. This is kind of like a fascinating sort of uh, tuna salad, I think. It doesn't taste like tuna out of a can. There's chunks in here. No, it's chicken. It's like a chicken salad. Being mostly veg, I'm not happy with that bite. So now I'm gonna save the best for last, which is the, the shrimp noodle. The sauce is really good, so I'm just gonna get that sauce in there. Mix it around with the noodles so that they're all kind of flavored. Here we have the bok choy again. There's about seven shrimps in here. The shrimps are really juicy. It's spicy. The sauce is spicy. Like, not a, a hot spice, but it's kind of like um, flavored. Very salty. The sauce is just so thick and kind of juicy and flavorful and rich that the moment you suck the noodles through your mouth, you just feel like grabbing a Kleenex and wiping it up. I like it. I like this a lot. Surprising this didn't come with chopsticks, but just forks and spoons and knives. So far, I've been watching Chinese movies with subtitles. And the subtitles are like eeny weeny. It's really hard to find filming myself eating in this tight quarters is very difficult. It's really hard to get perspective. If there was someone next to me, there's no way I'd be able to film this. I'd be like this. That's the reality of my shot. We'll see how it goes on my next flight. We're on a five hour layover. No, well, six, six hour layover ish. I'm debating whether or not I should go into the city. The only problem is bags, right? It's like I don't want to pay to store them. I'm not even sure if I'm going in the right direction.
construction. The thing that always confuses me about um, coming into Shanghai Airport is that uh, I'm always coming in transit, and it's the transit part that always confuses me. Um, this is because like sometimes you have like transfer halls, and sometimes you, uh, you need to go out um, of baggage claim and go upstairs and kind of like go through security again. I'm not sure if I have to go through immigration. Always plan at least three hours for transit time. Uh, it's around eight o'clock right now. Uh, my flight board's at 8.30. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where everyone is. It's pretty darn empty here. Of the equation uh.